Hey and welcome back to part 18 of this Django tutorial series. Today we're going to finish a few things with orders, create a simple success page, clear the cart and similar. So first I want to show the errors in the checkout page. So if I go back here now, click checkout, confirm checkout, you just see the errors here. I want to show them down here instead. So if I go back to the editor and find checkout.html. So we have this um, payment information here, which we can just remove the title for. And then we can set an ID here. So ID errors. So we can use JavaScript to insert information there. And then I want to go down here and at the top here, I want to say let L for the element of the error equals document dot get element by ID and then we pass in errors here. So now we get that element and then at the bottom of the validation function we can say if errors dot length is greater than zero then we want to create a new HTML element. Let HTML equals UL and then here errors dot for each error like that and then html plus equals li plus error plus close the li and then el for referencing the element at the top inner dot html equals html plus then we just close the ul and if there are no errors, I just want to say el.innerHTML equals empty and save. So if I now just refresh here, click confirm checkout, okay, cannot set the properties of null. Um, okay, get element by ID. Hmm. Okay, let's change this to ID errors. Now we can just try to use the query selector instead. Like that. Okay, I had a plural S there before, so try again. Scroll down and you see phone is empty, address is empty, zip code is empty, place is empty. This could be much prettier with the red information box and maybe these could be a little bit different, but that's not the part of this tutorial anyway. So now I can go back to the to-do list and that's the first task to done. Next I want to change the ordering for the orders because if I now go to my page you will see that the newest order, this one, is at the bottom. I want to switch this. So we need to open up order slash models.py. So here we need to add the class meta to this model here class meta this is used for configuring models ordering equals create tuple created at as it is a tuple you need to add a comma at the end there so if I now refresh you will see that the newest one is at the top perfect so then I can go to the to-do list again I set this task to done before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. The next task done is to create a simple success page. If you remember, when, we uh, when the order is finished, we will be redirected to cart slash success. And this doesn't exist yet, so we need to create it. And we can begin with the view. So open up cart slash views.py and then can add it below the cart def success request return render request and then the template is cart cart slash success dot html and save. You can also import this to the URLs page or URLs file success and the path here should be path success success and the name is also success. Great. So if I now refresh, you will see that I had a typo there, like that. 
now we get the template does not exist error which is great because that's what we wanted to happen now so if I go to the template folder create a new file called success.html if I now refresh it's gone but it's completely white so we need to add some information here we can copy a little bit from the checkout file copy all of this paste it replace the title there with success and success close the div and end block and we need to add some information here we can just say thanks for making the purchase or whatever you want like that so this is the page we will be redirected to after a successful order so then we have that page I can set this to done also when the cart is cleared we want to no sorry when the order is finished we want to clear the cart so we need to add a new function to the cart.py file so below the remove function or method we can set def clear self now we can just delete self.session so let me just remove this from the server settings.cart session id and self.session.modified equals true so now the cart is cleared and everything which was added there is removed so now we just need to call this in the order slash views.py at the bottom here when this is done so we have access to the cart from up here so when the order is finished you can just say cart.clear and save so let's test that this is working by trying out the checkout again confirm checkout okay got a new error cart has no attribute session now it should be session like that refresh try again confirm checkout then I was redirected here again great to pay and then I should hopefully be, be redirected back to the correct success page yes so success thanks for making the purchase and as you can see here the cart is cleared as well nice so then we can set this task to done and then I want to show the correct prices in the order page so if I go to my page now you will see that this price is not correct and this price is not correct so first we can begin with this one so if I open up my account Then here we are at 9.99. I want to change this to item.get total price, and then we need to go to the model, to the item model, order slash models, and create the method here. Def get total price, pass in self. So we use this class. Return. Create parentheses self dot quantity multiply this with self.price because this is the price for one item and then we divide it by 100 so if I refresh now you get this great but it says 3600 because it's $1800 multiplied with 2 so then we just need to fix the total price for the whole cart as well so we can add this to the model first which is this model the order model def get total price pause in self and then here is the if self dot paid amount we need to check that this actually exists if there are any with a non value or similar return self dot paid amount then just divide it by 100 if not we just say return zero so now we just need to use this function so instead of hard coding 199 here we say order dot get total price 
and save. So if I now refresh, the total price here is not correct. Yes, and that's because the total price in my views.py here is not correct. Why is it not correct? Okay, so the price here is actually incorrect. This is correct value, but this is incorrect. So if I go back to models.py, this was not supposed to use self.quantity like this because the price here is the price for the item and not the product. So now it's okay. Great. So then everything there is okay and I can go here and set the last task to done. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it and if you did, please click like below. See you in the next video.